Hello guys, I don't think anyone's in here. Also, I don't have my computer on me, so if someone is in here, I won't be able to see it. How do I see the chat? Well, I'm hanging out with myself because I like to hang out with myself. Look at me hanging out with myself. Uh, let me wait until I see somebody in here so I'm not just talking to myself. I mean, we could just talk to myself. I think that's fine. Oh, maybe no one will actually join me. Maybe I'll just... Oh, somebody's here. People are here. Hello, Makio. Hello, Kid Collector Comics. Hello, Sophia. Welcome to my live stream. It's a Saturday night. What are you guys doing? You should be partying. Charlene, Mark, Brian, hello. Ayas Crucis. I don't know how to say your name. I'm sorry. Kawaii Bai, E New, So Red, Joey, Anthony, uh, Duck. Mikio got her pop. Was it okay? I, hi, Jason. I think, like, I don't know how, oh, well, uh, honestly, Mikio, I put yours in a pot protector, but afterwards I started anything that was lower than 30, I've just been putting in um, a sorter because I don't have enough pot protector things. Um, you guys, hello, welcome to my live stream. I don't expect there to be a lot of people here just because, as per usual, it's this is a last minute live stream, but I thought I would check in with you guys. I haven't live streamed in a while. And I've broken my rule of trying to live stream once a month, which is what I was trying to do for a second, but that didn't last. Athena, hello from the Philipp Hello, you're in the Philippines? That's so cool. That's so cool. Um, David, I'm good. I just finished watching Dr. Applesauce's stream auction thing on whatnot. I'm hoping that one of these days, probably not anytime soon, I can do my own whatnot auction. Because I don't think that I'm ever going to be able to do like my own mystery box. I just think that's going to be too hard. So I am trying to kind of put together like some of the stuff um, that I might be able to auction off at some point. Anyways, um, yes, you'll see all the cats. They were outside a little bit ago, but now I came back up here. So they're all inside hanging out. Um, so I am... Right now, or for the past few hours, I've been watching uh, Grey's Anatomy because I have, I've, I've started re-watching the whole series. I didn't realize how big it is. I still watch it, like, live. But um, anyways, so I owe a ton of people giveaway boxes. This is my long list. And I think it might actually even be a little bit longer. I'm not really quite sure because... So I have, all, I have a spreadsheet, but there was, like... 10 boxes that at some point on one of my live streams, um, Geek Gear said that they would do, and I emailed them everything, but I don't know if people actually got those, so I might have to bring you guys over to my, um, to my laptop and we can take a look at that, but, um, yeah, so I owe people giveaways from, like, a long, long time ago. I haven't done giveaways on my channel since 2000. I did some last year on my live stream because Geek Gear said that they would take care of it. Um, the last time I was really doing consistent giveaways was 2017 and I had a pause because I was falling so far behind. Although I feel like rejuvenated now because of the whatnot app, I feel like I have been, um, better at shipping things. So that's really good. Um, but I had all these boxes and they were like already put together from my old house. I just never shipped them. These boxes are very heavy. And there's a few that, that aren't put together, so I've been trying to put them together now. And then I got to reach out to everyone to see if they're even still, um, if they're even still at the same address. And so, um, yeah, I mean, I guess I could read out the ones that I have on this list, and I can go back to my computer because um, I'm not sure is, let's see, Victoria. And, and honestly, if you guys, if I owe you a giveaway, um, I have a spreadsheet that I keep, yeah, I know I'm only three, three years late. This is why I didn't want to sell anything. Cause I was like worried that I wasn't going to be able to, um, ever ship these out. And so I was like, ugh, I don't want to sell things. Like, I don't want that to be a thing. But, um, if, if for some reason I don't call your name, let me know what video, because all of the, um, all of the giveaways were all like on a video. And so, I mean, you should be able to, to tell me what, what, ooh, what video you won your <sighs> cube. Cube is just like crazy. He's just, he likes to climb on all the boxes, which is terrible. Cause all it is is boxes in this room. Um, but yeah, if you don't hear your name, you can either comment in this post here 
or uh, you can message me the video. Go find the video on my channel because, again, it should be on there, and then I can look it up and see. But let's see. I have a 2017 March giveaway box for Victoria. That's what I'm working on right now. 2017 April giveaway for Amanda. I haven't done that one yet. Um, a 2017 June giveaway for Steffa, which I have made. Uh, 2017 November giveaway for Kiko. So sometimes people asked for my for a box for me, and some people had asked for like a box to be purchased. And so the ones that were purchased, obviously those ones happened right away. Um, and I did give a pre warning when people picked like the box for me that it would take a while. And look, three years later, here I am. Um, but so 2017 November for Kiko, and then my 2017 December box for Samantha. Then I had some live stream boxes. Uh, a live stream from June 15th, 2017 for Catherine. A live stream from November 1st, 2017 for Danny. Uh, another live stream from uh, October 1st, 2017 for Ernest. I have an 11, let's see, what is that? 11-5, 2017 for AJ Raven. I think the one for Angel was my birthday, 11-12, 2017. I have a March 4th, 2018 for Dom, and then a March 4th, 2018 for John. Now, I know Makio has said that I owed her a box, and I looked back, and I realized Makio was one of the ones who had originally picked a Geek Gear box, which I did email them, but it looks like, or it seems like, that never went through. So, actually, why don't we just walk up really quick. Ow, my foot's a little bit damaged. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Okay. Oh, I almost stepped on Q. Okay, Q. Let me just put this. I have this different tripod, so I'm not really used to it. <sighs> yeah, 2017 was a rough year. Well, then I got my accident in 2018, so then it got really rough because then everything was on pause. Let's see. Here's Cube. Cube wants to say hi. Oh, no, he doesn't. Never mind. Hi, Jody. How are you? Um, so let's see. So all the ones I called now, there was one, two, three, four, five, six people that were on a live stream that I sent to Geek Gear. So I don't know if everyone got it, but it sounds like Mikio did not. And I can't actually see the comments now. They're not popping up. Let me open up this live stream on my computer so I can see the comments because I can't see them. Where is my channel? Uh, let's see. Here I am. Let's see. Ooh. Okay. What is that, Alice? What is that? I hope that's not money. It seems like, let's see, pop out. Okay, let me pop out the chat. Alice, I can't tell if that's what this is but if that's money thank you so much that's very nice of you okay so um i am so right now i'm selling on whatnot and i'm just doing pops just like here and there i'm just trying to practice i eventually it i eventually plan to I was gonna actually jump on to Mercari or eBay, but I think what I might do is stay on Whatnot for Pops, and then for, I'm, I'm planning on making themed themed boxes that are like with random things, you know, not, not necessarily Funko Pops. There might be Funko Pops, I don't know, but with random things. And that I think I'm gonna try to sell on my Shopify site because I wanna use different boxes and I don't really know how to do that with Mercari and all that. Like, I think I might, I might just eat it and use flat rate boxes. I wasn't going to originally, but. Um, okay, let's see. Pamela, I'm doing good. My foot is better. I can actually walk. I could not walk yesterday. It was awful. I don't know what, if that's what gout feels like, then I'm scared for if I ever get gout because I literally could not walk. I could not lift my foot up. It was so painful. Um, it's not as painful this morning. It's still a little bit swollen um, and it's like really tight. I've been soaking it in stuff, but um, yeah, I don't know what that was. I thought it might've been an infection though because I did have a hangnail. So 
uh, I thought that, or an ingrown toenail, that I'll be honest, I had ripped out of my toe, which I normally do. That's not an abnormal thing. But yeah, I don't know what happened there. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm trying to see the... Trinidad Laura, what is your name? What is your actual name? Because that's not your name. Let me know. Because I... <gasps> is there a bug? Why did you do that? Oh, I hope there's not a bug. Is there a bug up here? My... The cat... Oh, crap. There's a fly. There's a fly. Oh, no. Cube is... Okay. Anyway, sorry. Camila. Camila, what did you win? Or where did you win? Ow. Let's see. Let me look back on here. Well, let me know what you won. And I can look back to see where we are with this. And then... Yeah, it's funny, my mom was telling me, and people have told me that for ingrown toenails, like you can get surgery so that it doesn't happen. So maybe at some point. No, your package is not in here, actually. I'm worried about, I'm focusing on the uh, 2017 people first, and then I'll jump onto yours. Geek Gear, June or July. So Trinidad Laura, go and find the video. You gotta find the video, because I don't have you on my list. And I'm usually pretty good, unless it already says that it's sent to you. I didn't do any 2018 actual giveaways, so it must have been a live stream. And I don't have you on here. So find that live stream, because all of the videos are still on my channel. And then let me know which one. And then, um, and then we can connect. And then, yeah. This is why I haven't done giveaways, guys, because I was so far behind on them, I just stopped. Um, if for some reason you want a giveaway from me from one of my live streams in, in March of 2019, it looks like I, I did a lot of live streams and giveaways there, contact me because I sent all your information to Geek Gear, but um, it sounds like maybe some of the uh, things didn't work out. I'm not going to... I mean, I'm not going to... Um, I don't want to blast your address on here. So um, I will reach out to you or you can reach out to me. I'm planning on reaching out to everyone. I have an Indiana address for you. Um, and yeah, anyways. Uh, so I'm going to, f my goal is to finish packing this weekend. Uh, well, anybody who has a giveaway, if you want a Geek Gear giveaway, you're just going to have to um, have a box from me because I don't geek. I don't work with Geek Gear anymore. Like they, they, That was just something nice that they did for me at some point where on all my live streams I could do a giveaway and they would um, they would do the giveaway. But I haven't been working with them. So if, like for Mikio, Mikio, I'm going to have to reach out to you. I think I have kind of a – I have a list because you've won a giveaway before of what you like. But um, I'm going to have to put one together for you. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, not sorry, I guess. I don't know. Um, hi, Rory. It's in California. It's 9.06 p.m. So, yes. Um, minis for me. Okay. And then Noah. I can't save this chat either. So, Noah, I'll reach out to you to confirm because I know you wanted some... Um, soda figures that I told you I'd get you. Um, and I might be able to throw in a couple mystery minis. And so basically what I'm hoping is once I finish sending out all of these other giveaways that I owe people from three years ago, again, I apologize, then I will start doing giveaways again. Like I want to do giveaways again, but I'm not going to do giveaways right now while I still owe people giveaway boxes. So that's really the, um, the dawn. I know I haven't streamed in forever. I was going to actually make this a wine series, but I, I have been taking some anti-inflammatory medication for my foot, and I figured that probably it's not good to drink alcohol with that, so I didn't. 
Um, I am not getting in the new SpongeBob box. At least I don't proud. I don't plan to. I actually. Oh my gosh! I didn't tell you guys this. I canceled all my loot crate boxes. I think except for the original box because technically I'm still. I have like eight thousand dollars worth of credits on loot crate, but I can only. You can't use them for everything. You can only use them for like the core crate. So I think I finally nixed everything. I nixed all of my lootware. I nixed like all of my subscriptions. Okay, that's not true. I think I might have kept maybe the Sanrio one. Maybe the Harry Potter one. I don't remember, but it was a big deal to me because I've had loot crates since I started this channel. So it was like really hard. It's been really hard for me to um, to cancel. Oh gosh, I think I might have canceled the Wizarding World to be honest. Um, but yeah, I it was just really hard. Are you getting the new Pokemon Vivid Voltage? I put the uh, booster box in my cart on eBay, but I haven't I haven't purchased it yet. Not yet. Good night, Pamela. I hope that you have a great work day tomorrow. Happy football Sunday. Um, a Pokemon. Not today. You're not going to get a... Oh, I was going to do it last night, but again, with the medication. So at some point, I'm going to do um, a wine series edition with Pokemon, which I think would be so much fun. I still haven't actually opened this box. I was supposed to open it last night. I filmed a bunch of videos last night, but then it made me so nervous because of my first booster box. And yeah, so I didn't open that yet, but today I spent some time organizing my cards and like making, these are the, um, like my homemade packs that I made and these will go, I, these are going to go, well, mainly they're for my prize boxes for work, but, um, I also think I might start making some like, just like small fun packs to put in like when I, oh, oops, I dropped half of them when I, um, ow when I uh, like sell uh, a Funko Pop and whatnot, I think I might slip in like, just for funsies, like some Pokemon cards, just cause why not? Um, yeah, this is the reason I didn't open it to be honest, I got a great deal on this. I bought this from Prodigy Games online and I paid $130 final, like that's with shipping and everything. But I feel like Pokemon cards nowadays are like so, they just have been increasing in value. And I will be honest, um, I'm, I'm taking a page, I already said this, from Cletus's book, and I have in my closet, like, some of the Pokemon stuff that I'm planning on not opening and just saving. So, like, the part of me saying, like, open it, open it, and part of me is like, don't open it, and I don't, I just don't know. I just don't know. I have not played Among Us, but I've watched people on YouTube play Among Us, and I've also watched, um, I've also watched a bunch of, like, I don't know what they are, like, cartoon things. Um... Yeah, it was weird. Okay, thank you, Trinidad, Laura. I'm going to write that down really quick and then I'll take a look at it just to confirm. Six slash three slash 2018. And your, your Trinidad, Laura, that's your YouTube name. Okay, you said your name was Camila. Um, okay. I think I would love Among Us too. Although honestly, like I try, you could, I just, I barely have time on my hands lately and I'm trying to do all this like selling stuff and I'm really, I, like even watching Grey's Anatomy takes up half of my time because I sit there and I just watch Grey's Anatomy. Um, I have watched, I have watched Poke. Pokey Rev. I'm not a huge fan of him to be honest. He's okay. He does a lot of booster breaks. And like, it's so it's like kind of watching like Darium. I prefer watching Leonhart and Unlisted Leaf and sometimes Breaking Nate or whatever his name is. Those are like my favorite. Um, those are like my favorite ones. I will, how about this? Okay, at some point we'll watch, we'll play Among Us and I'll do it where it's just like us. I guess Amanda says I can have a private game, but I get really worried because I know how addicted, oh, Um, I know how addicted I get to things and I'm really trying to be careful because I don't want to get addicted to a bunch of things that I don't need to be addicted to. Um, yeah, Cube is hunting right now. It's funny, I posted that video of him like chirping and everyone's like, he's a hunter, which I was like, I know, I'm worried. I feel like I let them outside every day, but only for a couple hours and like I keep track of them. But I'm always worried that he's going to come home with like a bird or something because he seems Cube, Cube, come on, man, come on. Ow, ow, you shocked me. Ow, cube. Okay, oh, that's my computer. Just up from my computer. Ah, okay. All right. 
Um, I'm yeah, I'm like worried that he's gonna like show up like with a bird or something. Um, okay, so like I have seen all of Grey's. I've watched the whole like I'm I'm still like caught up with the it's about to start, I think, the newest season or whatever. Um which I think it's Ellen Pompey's like last season, but like it was funny. I went back and rewatched from season one, and there's so many things that happened. Where I'm like, I forgot that these people hooked up with each other. I forgot these people were even in the show, or I forgot this even happened. It's like crazy because it's such a long, a long like series, you know. And then it's like if I ever want to watch a whole series, it would take me forever. There's so many. Um, yeah. So, anyways, who is my favorite? My favorite character, Yang has always been my favorite character. I was really sad when she left the show. It's always like in the more recent seasons, like I was watching it going, I can't believe that Alex and Meredith are the two characters that are like still on the show from the beginning, you know? Um, yeah, I didn't start watching it until probably 2000 and like, maybe seven so I didn't start like when I started watching it they were already a, f a couple or a few seasons in um so I had to rewatch all of them but yeah I I love doctor shows I like Amelia Shepard she's cool <laughs> um I hated I hated like I just remember like that show gave me so much anxiety sometimes like like the, the crashes and the the people going into the hospital. I guess you're right. Richard Weber and Miranda Bailey. I always think more so like the group of core interns that first started. And then, you know, anyways, um, let me not distract myself. It's hard because if I'm not near my computer, then I can't see your chat as easily. Um, do you guys want me to show you around this room? It's a hot mess though. I, it's a hot mess, but let me show you around this room. Let me flip this camera. So this area is still a hot mess. I still haven't cleaned it up from the earthquake. All the stuff has just now been like, it's like this. I just kind of like this when I walk by, which is terrible. As you guys know, I'm in the process of trying to downsize my Funko Pop collection. Technically, the ones in my Funko Pop right now are all the ones that are here. Um, I need to put those ones in, and there's a lot of other things that I need to like put but I am going to downsize because I there's a lot of these pops that I don't need to be keeping. Um, and I really want to. I think I'm definitely going to keep all my Harry Potter pops because that's really honestly like the Harry Potter. I remember like shopping at Hot Topic and like just buying a ton of Harry Potter pops, like trying to get the whole series or the whole set. But I, yeah, I there's like a lot of these that I think I could probably part ways with. So, um, my goal ultimately is I don't think I'm anywhere close to doing any kind of um, any kind of like mystery boxes because I also am not one of those people like all the people that do mystery boxes usually have a steady stream of Funko Pops coming in and I don't necessarily have that. And so I feel like my uh, um, like a mystery box for me wouldn't be that great. But yeah, I, I do want to try to do an auction on whatnot because that looks fun. Like the auctions look fun. And then it's like a live stream. So I get to like live stream with you guys, but then also get to sell pops. And now that I know that I know how to sell pops on whatnot, I'm a lot more comfortable with it, you know? Um, I don't want to show you the rest of this room, you guys. Okay, so here's the thing. So this is my filming area. I'm actually planning on, and yeah, my table is a mess and there's a cat on it. But I'm actually planning on... Um, moving my filming space downstairs. So I haven't been like using the two extra bedrooms in my house cause there was always a part of me that thought that maybe somebody might move in, like Amy might move in or Re or Dana or somebody. And so I always like try to keep those rooms like empty. But I recently, you guys know, actually I can show you guys if you want, I'll show you guys. I don't know if you guys want to be shown it, but I'm gonna show you. Um, I made one of the rooms, it's actually Jackson and Maverick's old room, the one that they stayed in. Um, I made that my, Cube, it's fine, it's fine, Cube. I made that my shipping room. <laughs> cube. <laughs> cube. Um, I made that my shipping room, so it's kind of a mess because I just got a new printer. So I um, just set that up here, I'll show you. Whoa, 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 how do I flip the camera? Okay, so this is Jackson and Maverick's old room. And it's still like, I'm still working on it, but 
Um, basically, like, I have, so I had my regular printer with these sheets, but then I just got this printer, but I'm having trouble because the shipping, mail, uh, shipping labels that come out of the Whatnot app are all, like, a half size of this, which works great for these because these are half sheet labels. Um, so they don't automatically print on this, which kind of sucks. But hopefully if I ship from Shopify, then I can just print labels directly with this, which is amazing. Um, there's Tess. And I got my bubble wrap and my tape and my pens. If you guys bought something from Whatnot, I've been writing thank you notes uh, directly to you. I have these boxes that I got and I have more downstairs. So these are all eight by six by six boxes, which is what, um, it's what, uh, what is it called? Whatnot stated. These are all the pops that are currently on sale on my Whatnot, my Whatnot site. And these are the ones that I was thinking about putting up for sale. Um, I'm in the process, like I have to kind of carry them down. And then those are some sorters and stuff. And then I'm hoping, to make this other room, which was Chris and Soren's old room. It's kind of like the cat room, but I'm thinking about changing this room actually to become my new filming space. So I'll clean it up and I'll move the table. I have a different table that I can put in here. I might move some bookshelves against this wall. And I have to do something about the lighting though, because the lighting in this room is kind of not the best. And so I think um, I might make this my filming space specifically because it gets really hot upstairs. So I try, I tend not to film when it's hot and it sucks because it's, I mean, in the winter, I guess it won't be a problem, but it's been real hot lately. Um, so then I thought it'd be cool to have like a mailing space. I have a filming space and then the upstairs would be dedicated to all of the stuff, like organizing all the stuff that I want to sell so that I would have, um, sorry. I'm not good at walking upstairs right now. So that I would have all of my shelves with the boxes and be able to create, like I'll just have the table in the middle of the room and I'd be able to use that to like put boxes together. So kind of what I'm doing now. So I'll show you guys what I'm doing now. Don't judge me. I'm sitting on the floor. This is the hot mess of a room right now. I need to pick up all this crap. Um, but I want to have, so these walls of shelves, that have the themed boxes that I pull stuff out. It's like, this is Harry Potter. That's Fantastic Beasts. I have Star Wars. I have Rick and Morty, which people have been picking. I have all the boxes. Like my goal is to have more shelves all along the room that just have these things, you know? Like all the sorted things. So that way when I'm putting together boxes, I don't have to do it on the floor. So like, this is me right now. Close your eyes if you want a giveaway box for me. So I'm putting boxes together. I had to type everything up so that I could see it easier. And yeah, I just got some new flat rate boxes today from the post office. And of course I have like all the boxes I haven't opened yet. It's just, you know. I think I'm gonna start doing some like really, really quick unboxing videos because now, of course, as I've been putting together these boxes for people, there's like things that they put on their boxes that they want, but I don't have it. And so I'm like, oh, like I kind of just want to open this box really quick and see if there's anything in there that I can put. But then like, and then I feel bad because I haven't unboxed it on my channel yet. So I think what I might start doing is like doing really quick, quick unboxings. And that way I can open up boxes, but then also use the stuff inside. So that is, you know, that's where I'm at now. Um, so I think once I get these giveaway boxes sorted, my goal is to, my goal is to restart. I know I'm trying not to, sweetie, I'm, I'm trying not to overwhelm myself because I know what happens when I'm overwhelmed, I just shut down and I stop altogether. So like my focus this weekend is to finish all these giveaway boxes, to contact all the people and to get these shipped out. Because I think that's honestly, I feel like the giveaway boxes that I know that I've owned people, that I've owed people forever are like, they're such a heavy like, not burden, but like, I feel bad. And it's like just something that I feel like I, I want to be able to like get back out to because I want to do giveaways again. I'm not currently doing giveaways right now because I need to ship all those giveaways. So once I ship all those giveaways out, then I'm going to start doing giveaways again. Um, I'm going to start doing giveaways, probably monthly giveaways. And then 
I don't want to be one of those people, so I don't think I'm going to do it. I guess I could ask you guys, but I am. Bye, T. Have a good night. Um, I was thinking about potentially doing, like, a Patreon, but only, like, nothing crazy. Just, like, I don't know, like, a five... I don't know how Patreon works, to be honest, but, like, a $5 Patreon and then doing, like, a separate giveaway for that, for, like, Patreon people. But I don't know, like, I don't know... Uh, not to use priority. No, I bought the special. So for whatnot, I bought special boxes from Uline um, that because they have to be less than a pound or whatever. Um, so I bought special boxes. This is literally what my life is when I'm filming though. Like this. It's just cube on the table because that's what he does. And then he starts to stretch out and he kicks everything off the table because he's so big cute. You're so big. You're so big. Hi. Say hi to everybody. Um, but yeah, like I didn't want to do a Patreon before cause I, I again was like not familiar or comfortable shipping things. And I'm not just going to do a Patreon just to do a Patreon. I want to do a Patreon and be able to give you guys things. But I also know like I can't, I don't want to overcommit cause I'm still working on that. Like I'm still learning on everything. So my goal right now, again, is to continue selling Funko Pops through the Whatnot app, probably do an auction at some point with them, and then start putting together mystery boxes that I can sell on my website, so themed boxes, so it might be like a Marvel box or whatever, and then they'll just have like random stuff in them, like just random Marvel things. Um, and I wanna do that on my Shopify site because I want people who watch my channel to buy the boxes Especially because, like, some most of the stuff is new, of course, but there will be stuff in the boxes that I've opened when I filmed a video. So, like, I just like when the people who are buying it know that ahead of time, you know, and know, like, what they're getting into. Um, but, yeah, I'm trying to figure out for that if I'm going to use flat rate boxes. Because the flat, I didn't realize the flat rate boxes, the prices went up. Although, I think if I ship from Shopify, I get the discounted rate, um, which is still the older rate. Because, like, it used to be, like, what, $12 and $18, and I feel like it's like 15 and 20 now to ship the flat rate. Um, how many t-shirts, I have M Megan, I have, I work so many Megan, so it's hard for me to say Megan now, but Megan, I have tons of shirts. And that's the thing too, I could probably do like a shirt mystery box that just is full of shirts. The problem is all my shirts are medium size. Like I only have, I only have one size shirt because I don't have multiple. Um, Camille, you're right, I should do, uh, like a fan unboxing. I actually have like, I got stuff from my old PO box, but I don't have it up here. And you know, I just also got a box from um, somebody, but I'll do an unboxing video for that because I don't have it with me. Uh, Noah, I'm going to put that up on my whatnot app so you can follow the whatnot app and eventually that will be on there and you can see it. Uh, my whatnot you, name is nerdy new, but just one word. Um, if you go into the search, you can actually search for not just products, but for users, but you have to like, there's a thing that says products and users, and you have to click over to the users and I'm nerdy noob and then you can follow me. Um, uh, let's see. T is T now that I moved out here, T actually lives even further from me now. And so I don't see T very often anymore. Um, what is my PO box address? My PO box right now is. I actually still have my old one, but my the one that's uh, closer to me is, it's P.O. Box. Mm. Two, mm. Uh, what is my P.O. Box? Mikio, do you have the package I sent you? Can you read what my P.O. Box is? It's the one that's my return address. I think it's like, I want to say it's 2569. Uh, I don't really know, to be honest. Um, yeah, it's, is yes, tell them. Because that's the P.O. Box. I got that one. Um, it's closer to me than my old one, obviously. And so I got this, this new one. I actually got it like two years ago. I just haven't really checked it. But I've been checking it more often because that's how I, I have to drive over there and to ship things. But I think it's P.O. Box 2569. Mikhail, what is it? I don't know what my, my, my P.O. box is. Um, <laughs> well, hopefully Mikio will, 
2569. It's P.O. Box 2569, and it's in uh, Martinez, California, 9... I don't remember what the zip code is. Uh, you, I'm sure you could look it up, though. Or maybe Mikio has that, too. Um, anyways, if you ever remind you any of the big... I write down projects all the time. Actually, I... So, I try to, like, have a thing like that. And uh, it, then that overwhelmed me. And so, I have lists in my phone of kind of, like... The things that I need to do. I tend to get more overwhelmed when I write things down, to be honest, but it's kind of a mixture because I always forget. Oh, somebody's in South Lake Tahoe. That's cool. Um, you can also have members on your YouTube and you could do the giveaways for the members. Yeah, I don't know how members work on YouTube. I get really like iffy about like charging people for anything. Like I don't want anyone to like have to feel obligated to buy something, but then I also want to make sure that I'm rewarding the people who are like supporting me. So like, that's why I was thinking, I guess I could look into like the membership in YouTube and or like a Patreon, but I don't really know. That was always one of the things like, especially with Patreon, cause you guys have been telling me to do Patreon for a while. And I just, um, I just, I just felt uncomfortable about it, I guess. Um, yeah. Anyways, so I was really just getting on here to say sorry to all these people that I owe um, giveaway boxes to. Mikio, I'm going to unhighlight your name right now to show that you didn't get it, and then I'll be in contact with you. Um, I don't know if, uh, let's see, Alex or Bunny... Oh, Bunny, are you here? Or did you leave already? Um, Why Cat? Megan Rimben? I don't know. A live stream unboxing. Um, I, Bunny, did you ever get your box from Geek Gear? Nine, oh, the zip code is 94... It's 5. 94553. 94553. Um, okay, so Bunny, you did get it. Okay, so then maybe it's just the people, is Megan or White Cat here? Maybe they are the from the live stream from March 23rd, because that was the same live stream from Mikio. So I don't know. There's a question mark there. I'll, I'll change these just in case I can follow up and do like a, I don't know. Did they? Who knows? I'll make it purple. Um... Two boys and their pops. What did you say? Nice, Joe. Oh, you guys are talking to each other. Um, oh, an interview. That'd be cool. Um, could I post the P.O. box at the bottom of the page, please? Yeah, I'll put it. I'll start putting my P.O. box in the um, in in all of my videos. I took it out because I, I couldn't keep up with people shipping me things. Although I will say that if you guys send me stuff, like, I... I'm not as obviously like filming isn't as consistent for me. So it may or may not show up on a video or maybe I'll open it on a live stream or something. Uh, oh, thank you, Kawaii. Um, you know what's so funny? Oh, it's all the way downstairs. I've been working on this new um, merch line. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I, mer I worked on it right after I did my first one because I was like, I want my own merch. I made a Mac line of merch. And so I had the sample sent and some of the things turned out good and some of them were questionable. So I have to work on that because I don't want to, I don't want to um, have something like that I'm trying to give out to you guys that's like janky, but it's so cool. Like, where's my phone? Hold on. Let me get my phone. I'll show you a picture. Okay. Like... <laughs> I was trying to keep this really on the DL, but I'll show you guys a picture because it's like really cool and I'm really proud of it. Um, but like I said, some of it came out kind of janky, so I got to change it up a little bit and update it. I also made myself a new logo. Um, I'll show you two things. I'll show you the all over shirt, which is so ridiculous. Like no one's going to buy this shirt, but I bought it. Like I would buy it and wear it. I feel like my close like friends and family who know him would totally do it but okay you guys are gonna laugh at this <laughs> this is like so funny okay so 
<laughs> this is a short sleeve. I put it over. I had a jacket on. Uh, so that is one of the shirts. How funny is that? <laughs> and then um, one of the things that I just got in that I really like as well is, sorry, I don't have it up here, so i just show you. I don't know how well you're going to be able to see this, but um, it's a crew neck. So it looks, so it's a crew neck, and it has MAC, but then it says MAC on the bottom. So it's kind of like, it's a little bit, like, it's not as in your face as that other shirt, but, like, it's cool, you know? Oh, my God, I didn't realize that you could, like, move, make your icons of the photo album bigger and smaller like that. That's kind of neat. I didn't realize you could do that. I thought you were always just stuck with three pictures across. Um, that's funny. So I also got this during Prime Day. It's really unnecessary, but I got this. It's a tortilla blanket. I just got it in the mail yesterday. And uh, yeah, anyway, so I made this whole line of Mac merch because I wanted to have a Mac collection and then eventually I would have a Cuban test collection. I did pause that a little bit, but like the Mac stuff is so fun. Like I, but I gotta redo a couple of the things. Cause like the hoodie, the, um, I got a hoodie made and I actually made a new, a new logo um, for this one. And so I, uh, the hoodie, like the print turned out, it had like a red tint to it, which I didn't like. So that was kind of sad, but the regular shirt was really cool. And then I got a mug and that was cool. I got stickers and those were cool. So I'm going to update the other things and then maybe I'll release that. So you guys can pick it up if you want. You don't have to though, but the Mac all over shirt is so fun. Like I, I don't know. And again, I'm biased. I really enjoy Mac. And so he's, you know, he's my dude. He's my guy. Um, anyways, yeah. So, uh, I guess, should we do an unboxing or something? I have so many things I could unbox. I just don't know, like, what anything is, you know? Um, let me see. I guess for good time's sakes, I could unbox this, but... I don't even know what this is for. This is a Geek Gear box. Oh, here. I forgot I'm looking at it. Um, I have so many Geek Gear boxes that when I was subscribed to them, like, I, you know, I kind of paused my unboxing or whatever. And so, like, I have a whole bunch of them. I don't know what this is from, but we can just open it up, I guess, and see. I think there's regular ones and then maybe, like, Harry po the Harry Potter-themed ones. Um, I'm selling my merch on my on Teespring, but if you look in my YouTube, like under the video, I think, I think it has all the things that I have right now. I think it's Teespring though, not on whatnot. Whatnot is just, um, oh, good night, the, good night, the dark night. Thank you for dropping by and saying hello. Um, yeah, I saw that his Charizard sell tonight for, uh, almost 1200. Um, Link, what are you guys... I will put, there's, the Mac merch is not up for sale right now, but I'll put the link to my, um, to my merch. I'll put it into the description. Sorry. I'll put it in the description. I thought I like linked it so that it just shows up underneath my videos, but I guess it depends on how you're watching my videos. Um, yeah, I love Pokemon cards, Rory. I am like so happy. Like I love filming videos right now. I feel like I was a little bit stuck, like for a while with my videos, like sub boxes weren't as exciting to me anymore. And so I kind of like, that's why I was, I've been pausing it and whatnot. But like, I love opening Pokemon cards. I like love it. It's, it's, and if you guys really look back, like, I feel like I would have stayed with Pokemon, but I know like, even now, like Pokemon card unboxings don't get as many views. And so for like, I would do them here and there cause I wanted to, but like, they were never like a main thing just because I, like, you know, obviously when I was trying to grow my channel, it wasn't working. But now I'm just at the point where I don't really care. I'm just I'm just unboxing things that I want to unbox. I did not know that Shumi is selling Pokemon cards. I'll have to look at that. Um, oh, you've been buying Black Label? Ooh, Greg, that's a good investment. Pokemon cards are a good investment. Um, 
Are you going to post more to your vlog channel? I actually just uploaded all of my old vlog footage that has been sitting on my phone and my camera. Although I lost my vlog camera. I don't even know where it is. Um, so I'll, at some point I'll put that together and post it. Um, you were gifted a Marcus Mariota signed jersey. That's cool. Uh, okay, anyways, let's go ahead and unbox this. Oh, I didn't know. I'll have to check out Shoe Me. I didn't know that that was a thing. Um, where's my knife? Too many DBZ Funko Pops, yeah. You know what's funny, though, is that uh, for these giveaways, a lot of people said uh, DBZ, and I was like, oh, I have tons of Funko Pops, and then I couldn't find any of them. I'm like, I know I have a bunch of DBZ Funko Pops somewhere. I just don't know where they are. Okay, I don't know how old this box is going to be, so I don't know what's in here, but um, let's see what's in here. Oh, this is some Star Wars things. Um, Geek Gear kind of turned into like this, like their boxes kind of started turning into kind of like Etsy style boxes at some point. And I kind of lost interest during that time frame. But anyways, um, this is a Star Wars travel mug. I think it's ceramic because it's super heavy. This is actually pretty cool. This is from the, uh, this is from Solo. Yeah, yeah. This is from Solo, so that's cool. Mm. We got whatever's in this little white box. Gem soap, maybe? It looks like a ruby thing from Zelda or something. Um, they will make Super Mario Pops. I don't know if, if they're gonna start making Super Mario Pops because Pokemon's not owned by Nintendo, right? So I feel like it's a little bit different. But I would love Mario Pops. We have another little white box. This has, this looks like something from Jumanji. I don't know what this is in reference to. It looks like an elephant statue. Yeah, Nintendo's pretty like, I feel like they're pretty closed off from things. Um, okay, what else do we have? A Geeker scratch card. Again, I don't know when this is from, so I feel like this is probably pretty old. Pokemon is owned by Nintendo. Is it? Has it always been? Did I win? 10% off my next renewal. Okay. Have you got anything from Zobi? I actually did. I bought a box from them. It's downstairs. I did not open it. Uh, we have a Marvel journal. That's cool. I have a lot of journals, but I like those for um, my boxes. Uh, we got... It's been a really long time since I've opened a Geek Gear box. Like a really long time. This is a Spider-Man print. That's pretty cool. Uh, Doris packed my box. Hello, Doris, if you're watching this. And then we have our shirt. This is a Guild and Soft Style Men's Medium. It looked like a, like a Spider-Man shirt. Is that what it is? Yeah. I don't know if this is licensed or not, because there's not like a tag. Usually the licensed shirts say Marvel, but um, yeah. It's a cool shirt, though. I like that color. When is this from? June 2019. So this box was from June 2019. That was such a long time ago. Um, here's our thing. So we had our licensed Marvel notebook, our exclusive green rupee. Uh, I don't know what it is. Oh, oh, it's not soap. It's just a green ruby, ruby, ruby. Why they, is it spelled with a P? Ruby? Ruby. Um, I guess you just display it. We had our licensed Spider-Man print, our exclusive elephant token. Um... This month, we have included a game piece from a well-known board games movie. A handmade elephant token painted to look like aged and rusted iron. So, yeah, Jumanji, right? Um, and then we have our licensed Star Wars Chewbacca travel mug. Is it Chewbacca? It looks like a solo mug. There's solo on it. We had our exclusive webbed hero shirt. So that one's not a licensed shirt. That one's like just like a 
fake shirt. Um, and then, yeah, I guess Back to the Future was the next month. Anyways, uh, let's see. I think the company that owns and operates the franchise is actually named the Pokemon Company. It's joint venture between Nintendo, Game Freak, and Creature. Oh, that's good to know. Um, your whole influence. Yeah, my I want to do a video. I think I've showed this to you guys a lot of times before. But this is my binder from my childhood. This is literally my childhood Pokemon collection. I mean, this wasn't everything, but these were like where I put most of my things. Um, I was like really into like having my binder and everything. Um, I'll, I'll give you guys um, a sneak peek. Hold on. Well, that's really close up on my face. So I, I have English cards, but I really focused more on Japanese cards. Um, so my binder's kind of all over the place, but I weirdly actually have a few uh, first edition cards that I didn't, again, I didn't click the English cards for a really long time because I just was really into the Japanese cards. And so like, I do have a lot of English cards, but I think a lot of my English cards came from like the starter deck boxes and things like that. I don't remember buying that many booster boxes back then. Um, so like, like this card, like, I don't know, there's a stamp on it. I don't know if that's normal, but I feel like that is probably like a decent card, right? <laughs> and then I don't know, these all look the same. Yellow, I know there's like, I don't know what this one is, E3. Um, yeah, like I, <laughs> it's like, it's crazy now to look at like what these cards are going for. Um, but like, yeah, like first edition Snorlax right there. And I think my, I mean, I'm sure there's some pretty like normal wear and tear in these cards. I didn't take the cards out of these often. Like I tried not to when I was a kid cause I was really like big about that. Um, and then like, if you go further, I don't know how I had this set up. Clearly I like did it by color and I guess a mixture, but like all of these Japanese cards, I mean, again, that was what I mainly collected was Japanese cards. Um, those were my favorite. So, and I don't even know how old these were. But then I, in the back here, I do have my, like, hollow section and stuff. Um, let's see. So, like, these are my hollow cards. I'm sure, like, these being in these, like, types of protectors aren't great because these are not in sleeves or anything they're just in the card sleeves but like I was really proud of my um like my collection here like the because these are from like when I first started collecting like these are very very old this was the very first hollow I've ever pulled it actually looks in okay condition and like centering on Japanese cards I don't I know Japanese cards don't go for as much in general but like uh, I don't think I pulled that card out of the binder very much. That was my very first holo card. This is what started my love for Pokemon. I bought my first Japanese booster pack, and they told me, they said, if you get this this dragon Charizard card, it's the best card. I remember walking across the street, and I opened up the pack, and there was this card. And I, like, died. I remember I ran, um, I ran back to them, and then they wanted... To, they wanted me to trade this card for another pack of cards and I I didn't do it but you know what was funny I bought another pack and I got a dark Charizard and then I I traded that in for I think they gave me two booster packs for my dark Charizard and I remember regretting that decision forever like I never got that card ever again and I love that card the dark Charizard so I was really sad about that but yeah, I definitely focus more on Japanese cards, but I do have some English cards. These are my, oh wait, these are still, wait, is that the, no, there was another, I'm sorry, this is Dark Charger. There's another Charizard where he's like flying, but it's dark, and I was never able to get that card back. I traded that. Anyways, these are my older cards. Uh, these are my older English cards. They're kind of like, I have a first edition Machamp, but I know he's not really worth all that much. And these are probably a little bit more heavily used, to be honest, because I think I took these out a lot more. But yeah, I mean, like, not terrible. I probably could, like, I could, like, 
look at these. You can see some tear on the wear and tear on the corners. I probably could carefully take these out and like potentially get some of these PSA graded, which I was looking into, but um, yeah, I don't know. I got my ancient Mew. I'm really proud of that one. I had a few of those. I don't know what happened to the other ones. My Blastoise. That one has some intense tear, wear and tear on it. So yeah, I think that it's like, you know, and then I, I clearly had a section for trainers. Um, and then I actually had, I actually collected these, which I didn't keep them. But I heard that these actually, some of these are actually going for a decent amount to the like tops cards. So at some point I'll do like a legit, well, a legit video on this, on my collection. Cause I am really proud of like, I'm really proud of this, you know, and I'm proud that I was able to keep this and I never sold my cards ever. I was not into that. I did trade cards, but usually not like hollows, only duplicates of hollows. Cause again, it meant a lot to me. Like this is like years and years of collecting for me, you know, and I am, even though my mind, I get things with the intention of selling the stuff. I never, I never sold anything. I never sold. This is the first time I've sold anything. Um, I didn't collect Yugo cards. It's funny because I didn't realize that Yugo cards are also like kind of big, but like, um, I bought a lot, a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh cards. I actually think I have some at my office somewhere because the kids were really into Yu-Gi-Oh at one point. So I used to buy Yu-Gi-Oh cards as like giveaways and stuff. And so um, I should try to see if I have any more of those. I don't know if I do or not, but I had like, I used to buy pack, like ran, just random packs, but that was like years ago. So there might be some Yu-Gi-Oh cards in there if I can find them that have some value. Those I wouldn't have any problem like giving up because obviously I didn't collect Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, yeah, Pokemon's way more valuable than Yu-Gi-Oh, but I did see that some Yu-Gi-Oh cards are going for a lot. Like, that's, like, a thing, too. Hello, Paul. How are you? Um, anyways, well, I just wanted to, uh, come and hang out. I see the fly. Cube is sleeping. I don't think I can catch the fly. I don't think I caught the fly. Did I catch the fly? No, I didn't because Cube just freaked out. That would be so cool if I had caught in the fly though, right? Um, same fly, I think so. He was just walking around and I didn't catch him. I, I saw Cube freak out so I could tell that I didn't catch him. I know the fly, geez. Um, anyways, yeah, I just wanted to say hi to you guys. I miss you guys. I honestly, I'll be honest, there's 156 people here, so it's so crazy. Thank you guys so much. Um, I'll be honest, one of the reasons I haven't been live streaming is like, I really want to do giveaways. I really want to do giveaways, and it's killing me that I'm just so far behind, but I'm getting there. And so I that's one of the reasons, like, I feel bad when I'm doing a live stream, because I for a while I was doing giveaways every live stream, and I think even when I start doing giveaways again, I probably won't, I still won't necessarily do a bunch of giveaways on live streams, because they're really hard. They're really hard to do, but I want to do give. I want to start my my monthly giveaways again. Remember when I used to do like my treasure hunt giveaway? I don't know if any of you guys were there, or, like following me when I used to do those. Like, I used to put so much effort into my giveaways. I would literally make. I would film like five videos, and I do like it would be like a treasure hunt, like a scavenger hunt, and you'd have to go and like figure out which videos I was talking about, and like. Yeah, I just, I, I want to, um, I want to do that. Like, I want to do that again because those were fun. But I'm hoping to find ways to kind of keep it up to beat. Um, if you guys, if you guys want, though, definitely follow me on Whatnot. That's where I'm currently selling Funko Pops. And I'm, I'm super open to you guys. Like, if you guys have a Funko Pop that you guys want to, want to potentially buy off me, let me know. And then I can put it up on my Whatnot site and then you can buy it, you know? Um, yeah, I think once I, I think I'm going to have to, cause I actually, all of my giveaway and for sale pops, I actually had them on this phone that I'm live streaming with as my, um, like I had a separate account on Funko to keep track of those ones, but I know that I pulled a bunch off when I've either sold or donated pops or given pops away and I didn't keep track of it well enough. So I think once I figure out, like once I downsize my collection, you know, what's crazy you know my Hulk Hogan pop? 
it was sitting at like 350 for a really long time and I looked at it a couple days ago and it was at like 600 which I don't know if that's true or not but yeah anyways once I downsize I'll probably redo my collection like this pop like why do I have this pop actually it's it's kind of cool <laughs> it's kind of a cool pop actually but like why is this in my collection like why is this something that I kept in my collection this is not a pop that I need to have in my collection. I don't even know if this pop is worth anything or not. It's just like, this is not a pop that I need to have in my collection, you know? Um, so there's a lot of like, there's a Destiny pop right underneath it. Like, who? Surfer Freddy. I like Surfer Freddy. Um, so yeah, like, I feel like, uh, and again, it's not about pops being worth a lot or not. Because I've, I've been selling a lot of pops for like $10. Um, and it's cool. Like, I'm not trying to necessarily keep, there's my Hulk Hogan pop. Like, I don't keep the pops necessarily for value. I, at some point, kept them because I really liked the way that they looked. Usually is what happened. You know what sucks? I'm so mad about those stupid Freddy Zodiac pops because I remember when I first started collecting, they had the Zodiac pops all over, like, on the Funko app. And I was like, oh, I need to buy the Scorpio one because I'm a Scorpio. And then I never did. And then, like, at some point I was like, you should just buy all of them so you can have the whole collection. And then I never did. And now they don't sell them anymore. And they're, like, hell of expensive, which sucks, too. Um, what not is not good for selling for international people? Not sure about buying. I don't know how it is for buying if you're international. Can you buy if you're international on whatnot. Um, again, that's one of the reasons why eventually I want to go to like, um, Mercari. Jody, that's so weird. Cause anyone that meets me is always like, are you a Scorpio? Like they know that I'm a Scorpio. It's weird. Um, or you can, you can just, I have put on my YouTube, my YouTube posts and my, um, like Instagram. If you, if there's a pop that you guys want to see me sell, you can just put it on there. Uh, don't private message me. I don't ever check my DMs, you guys. Don't ever DM me if you if it's not important. I, I you have more luck with me seeing things if you either comment on my YouTube videos, or if you um, or if you comment on like my Instagram. Those are probably the two things. Yeah, I'm trying to break out of hoarder mode because I wanna um, I want to do what I was supposed to do a long time ago, which was sell stuff so that I could keep this kind of like channel going, but not having like lately because I haven't been posting as much and I haven't been making as much money on ad revenue I've had to use my own obviously my just my normal money to buy things so for a really long time on YouTube I was making enough money to support all of my purchases but lately it's not and so that's one of the main reasons that I'm like oh you know I need to I need to sell things because yeah um Jody I you know it's funny I guess I didn't realize on Instagram that there was like different levels of DMs and so I didn't know. Uh, it's okay, Amanda. Wait, what did you DM me on? On on Instagram? Like, I, because I don't ever look on the different levels of messages. I didn't know that was a thing until recently. And I saw somebody, like, I don't know what I was doing, but I, like, found this, like, there's, like, levels of DMs. So, um, Amanda, I'll be on the lookout. Hopefully you DM me on Instagram, because that's probably the best. Yeah, there's, like, there's, like, pr primary or, or something, and then, like, general and then like you have to like i don't know there's different levels of dms you guys don't have that i didn't know there was like that and so i i thought i honestly i thought that people just didn't dm me very often like i just didn't think that was a thing and then i found this like leveled thing and i was like oh there's all these people who have been dm me dming me and i had no idea i didn't see that i didn't notice them because it was like Again, different like levels that I didn't know about. So, hello, geeky mama bear. Hello. Um, so, Amanda, I will be on the lookout. And then, if for some reason I can't find it, then I will. Um, then I will reach out to you because I have all your contact information here. Um, oh. See, now people are like, oh, I deemed it. So now I got to go check my Instagram. In general, even if there wasn't three levels of Instagram DMs, I still suck at checking my DMs in general, but I'll make sure I do it. Um, you guys, there was 170 people here at one point, and I really, really just want to say thank you. I want to appreciate you guys. Um, I'm sorry that I actually do have a pop video coming up uh, within the next couple days. I filmed a Bands for Arms mystery boxes that I bought on Labor Day. Um, so those were really cool. I can't wait for you guys to see those. Um, so I will post it. So like, 
I think most of my videos, obviously, they're basically, you know, I wouldn't say that I'm a Pokemon channel whatsoever because I'm not cool like the other channels. I just really haven't been, in, I like, I've been really enjoying unboxing Pokemon cards because it's something I've always enjoyed doing. But again, I was like, oh, I, they don't get very many views, so don't do it. And so I want to... Um, yeah, like, I still want to do Pokemon videos, knowing that they're not going to get very many views. And then I'll still do Funko videos, because I still have, like, a bunch of stuff. And then I still have subscription boxes. So I think I'm just going to, like, I'm just going to kind of, like, do whatever, like, whatever I feel. No, I did not buy any of the new Harry Potter Pops, because I, again, like, there's some that I, unless I really like something, I just have been trying to be, like, I didn't buy any of the Halloween drop, although I wanted everything. I wanted everything. Good night, Jody. Have a, have a great Saturday night. Um, I wanted everything that they released on Friday for the Halloween drop, and I didn't buy anything. I didn't even go on there. I didn't set an alarm. I was like, no, don't do it, and I didn't do it. They had some really cool pops and soda figures, and I really wanted them, but I was like, don't do it. Um, do you collect anything else besides Funko Pops and Pokemon cards? Um, I used to collect Pogs and Beanie Babies, if that counts. I still have, oh, plushies. Yeah, I, and I have boxes of plushies that I haven't even unboxed yet from my Tereba phase. Oh my god, my Tereba phase. Do you guys remember that? That was so bad, you guys. What was that? The beginning of, was it the beginning of last year, I think? It was bad. I, when I was doing my taxes, I was like, oh my god. I spent so much money on Tereba. So yeah, I have a, a closet full of plushies. The closet full of plushies is full of plushies and Pokemon cards. That's where I've been putting my... um. Um, Paula, thank you so much. Thank you, Paula. I appreciate that. Eventually, Pokemon lovers will find you. See, that's the thing. Like, for me, I, I'm, I'm doing more Pokemon videos because it's something that I want to do. Again, knowing that it might not get a lot of views, it's okay because I actually genuinely like filming those videos. And so, like, it doesn't just, it doesn't feel stressful to film them. I'm like, yeah. Like, the, the hardest decision is like, what am I going to unbox first? I get really excited about it. And so, um, yeah, I'm just going to kind of do that until it was fun, like watching some of my old, I don't know if you guys have gone back and watched some of my older Pokemon unboxings. Um, cause I've done them throughout the five years I've been on Instagram, like randomly I'll do Pokemon videos. And of course, yes, John, my advent calendar will be back. I was just in my closet, uh, looking for something and I found the punch boxes. So I had the one that I actually punched out and then I had bought another one on clearance after Christmas time. And so I think I'm going to try to, I'll, I'll vlog, when I do Vlogmas, uh, or maybe before Vlogmas. When does Vlogmas start? I don't remember. I think I usually start at the beginning of December. Um, I'll do a video maybe on my YouTube channel of, um, I have to retissue paper the punch box. Um, and then we can put together Pokemon card advent calendars so that I can do that for Vlogmas. I'm so excited about that. Like, I'm even more excited about it now. Can you believe, like, that's. Isn't that such a great idea? Apparently they actually have a Pokemon card advent calendar, but I'm sure it probably costs a million dollars and it's probably not available to people. Um, so I'll be doing that. I am going to cut back though. Last, I don't know if you guys have noticed, but the amount of like, somebody just bought something. Somebody just bought merch. Thank you. Whoever just bought a mug. Thank you. I don't know who it is. It just says somebody bought one. Um, I... If you guys have noticed recently, my Vlogmas, like, the advent calendars were, like, taking over because I was doing, like, 10 sock calendars. And <laughs> it was so many. Oh, thank you, Horrible Reads. I appreciate it. And a shirt. Thank you so much. That's so awesome. Um, I, yeah, like, I don't, do you guys remember my Vlogmas? It's like, half the video was me unboxing socks and Pokemon cards because and Lego advent calendars. So, like, I'm going to cut down on the socks. I love the socks, but like too many socks. I still have so many socks that I haven't worn from the advent calendar. So there's too many socks. I don't need that many socks. So I'm going to do uh, probably, I got to find some cool like Lego advent calendar, maybe just one. I, what did I do last year? I don't even remember. I'll do the Pokemon advent calendar, which I'm really excited about. You know what I was thinking about doing is maybe doing like a mystery mini I haven't seen, I like the toy one, the retro toy. Maybe I can get like, I don't know if I can get 24 of those. That's kind of expensive, but that'd be kind of fun. Like do a, a mystery mini advent calendar. Um, they have the wine one at Costco, but I haven't seen it in person. I want to get that one. Although, I'll, 
I would have to do my Advent unboxings at the end of each night if I'm going to chug some wine, but you know, everything could be a wine series edition. Um, oh, you've been watching, 051 has been watching since my GameStop Black Friday boxes. Those are crazy. Those are very old. Um, yeah, I guess if you guys have any ideas, so I, I'll do a Pokemon. I'll probably do one Lego Advent calendar. Uh, last year I bought, um, a hot, uh, Hot Wheels advent calendar, but I didn't open that one. I might do like, I might do just one sock calendar and then, and then I don't know. I'll find something cool. What about five surprise? That'd be too expensive. I'm trying to think of what else is cheap. That's like mystery themed that I can get 20. Cause I have to get what? 24 of them, 25 of them, 25, 24, 25, 25. A, fo a Funko soda calendar. That'd be so expensive. That alone would be... <gasps> oh, you know what I have that I didn't unbox? I might have to buy more. I think I bought 10 of the Pack a Pack a Cat things from, <laughs> from Funko. Um, Good night, Funko Fun on a Budget. Thank you for joining us. Maybe I'll get... I'll, I have to find those. I don't, they're in a Funko box somewhere in my house. But maybe I can buy more of those so that I can... Yeah, that would be fun. I was going to try to find those now and do an unboxing video, but maybe I'll hold off. Um, but I do need to buy more because I think I only bought 10. And I need... What do I need? 25 of them? Do we do... Do I do advent calendars on Christmas morning? Or is it... Or is it just through Christmas Eve? I don't remember. Um, yeah, so I got the, the is it Packa Packa or Paka Paka? Packa Packa, I think. I don't know, the cat ones, because I really like those. Um, 24. So I have to get at least 24 of them. That seems like so many. That's okay, we can still do it. Um, I'll look to see how many I purchase, and then I'll try to purchase more from the Funko app, because I really did like those ones. And I think they were only, what, like $5 each? I don't know. Good night, Shannon. Thank you for joining me tonight. Um, I'm definitely going to do the Pokemon cards. I saw the new pack of pack of soup ones, which I think might, I might still get. Maybe I'll do a mixture. What if I did a mixture of cats and soup? How about that? Instead of buying 24 of just one of them, I'll do, I'll do half and half. What do you guys think? Half and half? That makes sense, right? I'll go get some of the new soup, soup ones, and then I'll get some of the cat ones. Trinidad Laura, have a great night. Thank you. Yes, I think that's a great fruit bats. Fruit bats? What fruit bats? What are the fruit bats? Rashawn, is that a new pack? I haven't, I've been trying to avoid the Funko website. I just don't even go. Oh, what a great idea. Uh, what is it? Melon J. Melon J. Uh, random boxes that I open over my house. I should do that as well. You're right. That's a great one. Good night, radioactive pig butts. I like your name. Um, Paka, so maybe I'll look at the, I'll look at the, um, the Paka Paka, like, things that they have, and I'll just buy a mixture. How about that? Because I can easily get 24 of a mixture, and then I could try to do the mystery minis. I think that might be kind of hard, but if not, good night, guard tunes. Thanks for joining me. Have, have a good night from the, over there on the East Coast. Um, but, so I'll do that. So, Pokemon cards, I'll just do two sock calendars, because those are 12 days each, so I have to alternate. And then I'll do a mixture of the Paka Paka, which I think would be cool. And then, what did I say? Pokemon cards, Paka Paka, socks, and then maybe just a random box. I have so many boxes. Just do a random box. Oh, John, that's so nice of you. Thank you for, for thinking of me. Donovan, have a great night in Ohio. Um, Noah, if you do end up going to bed, good night. Thank you for joining us. Um, okay, random snacks from various places. I would love to do that, but it's hard to, for me to get random snacks, you know? T is doing really well. Um, I know, I need to tell her to come over so we can film a video. Maybe I'll try to bribe her with pizza and beer or something. She probably actually would. If I gave, if I said, T, come over so that I can give you some Mountain Mike's pizza and beer, she probably would come over. And then, oh my gosh, you guys, what if I did an unboxing video with me, T, and Amy? Oh my God, you guys would die. I couldn't even imagine what that would be like, but I feel like it would be a lot of fun. I am gonna try to make that happen. I think I'm gonna try to make that happen. Hi, Eddie. Um, oh my gosh, that would be so crazy, but so much fun. Like, especially if we did like a, sn like if we did like, 
one of each, like, what if I, if I made them sit through a Pokemon video, they'd probably be like, what is this? Um, but, like, I could unbox, like, I honestly, I could box anything, like, random Funko boxes or, like, a snack box. I, a snack box if we were all drinking, I can't even imagine that. Good night, Rousey, royalty. Um, oh my god. Well, here's the thing, guys. I am, I can see a lot of you guys have to go to bed, so, um, uh, there was 171 people on at some point, and I, that blows my mind. I appreciate it greatly. Thank you so much. I am working right now. Work. I'm trying to uh, work through whatnot to see if I can do my own auction because I notice a lot of people doing auctions, but I don't know how to do it. I think you have to be like partnered with them, which I'm not. And so I just contacted them. So hopefully at some point I can do an, a whatnot auction and then we could like be hanging out like this, but I could also be auctioning off pops, which would be fun. And I think on, on auctions, you get decent deals for you guys, right? Because you're not competing with, like, the world. Um, and uh, I'll try to make that video with Amy and T happen. And uh, I'm going to finish packing up these giveaway boxes. So be on the lookout for more giveaways. Um, follow me on Whatnot to buy Funko Pops. And then check out my Shopify site, which is, I think, just nerdynoob.com. Because I'm going to randomly start trying to put boxes for sale there so that I can practice selling them um so I don't know what like I have a lot of Marvel things so I might put together like a Marvel themed box and just pop it on the website and then maybe somebody can buy it and then we can just test it out not quite sure how it works um all right guys I appreciate you guys so much thank you guys so much for all of your support as I try to figure out what I'm doing with my life you guys are amazing uh oh somebody wants a Reese's taste test video with T and Amy oh my god I think Amy would like that because I think she likes Reese's so yeah, I think, and no, I don't play video games. I don't, I play Animal Crossing. I play, uh, sometimes I play Pokemon Go, but I don't usually feel myself playing those. I usually just like to play them. I have not played Animal Crossing for weeks. Weeks, guys, it's been weeks. When I start playing that, I get trapped. I get sucked in for like two weeks at a time and I just like play it all the time. And I, so I don't play it. I try to stop. Um, but you guys are awesome. I appreciate it greatly. I hope you guys have a wonderful night. Be on the lookout tomorrow. I have more videos coming up. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys pretty soon for another live stream. Hopefully maybe a Funko Pop auction. Who knows? Um, all right, guys, have a great night and I'll talk to you guys later. Goodbye, don't add X's. Goodbye.